Hey y'all, welcome back to Reketeer. Um, this is week three. We're gonna just go ahead and do the usual stuff for week three, I guess. So we're gonna go to here. She did a test run of this at one point, but failed that recording and now it's been like three weeks. Adventures Guild. Cool, we're gonna go to the Adventures Guild. Yep. This is the point and... I introduce myself. Yeah, you can go ahead and introduce yourself person who's hacked into my channel. Hi, I'm a hobo he picked up off the street. <laughs> nice. So, so... Yeah, I just need a place to How's crash it? for a few days. Um, nothing special. Nothing special, yeah. It was a hard work picking this hobo off the street, but I felt like... It would be a good time to go ahead and get myself some guest commentary. Are you and I found I'm this random harbor. You're just street. really weak. What? <laughs> oh. So, uh, yeah, we're in the uh, dungeons now because the dungeons a thing, and this is probably why I decided to get some guest commentary because these things are a pain to deal with. They're bad. Yeah, I should, and I should mention, by the way, I haven't actually played this game yet. I want to at some point, but I haven't gotten around to it, so... It's okay, I only finished Sonic Adventure for the first time in ten years recently. Wow, I wonder if that has any significance on anything. Maybe, I don't think this is going to be up until after you upload that. Uh... I mean, who knows? I kind of want to try to get back into the groove because I stopped for like a few weeks at some point, and I don't want to like that start uploading sense, that. But I mean, sure knowing my track groove. record, my, my my knowing my track record between Sonic Mania and uh, what is it? Sonic Mania and uh, no, between East Two and Sonic Mania, I just disappeared for like a month and a half. Well, I mean, that's between projects, so it makes sense. Yeah. That. Also, because I wasn't really looking forward to the project I had planned before Sonic Mania. Yeah. Like, so I canceled it. I mean, ukulele is like a 16-hour game, so... And I'm still pretty new at this, so... Well, in a manner of speaking, at least. In a manner of speaking, I mean, I did this back in 20... What was it? 2009, 2010? Yeah. But... How many games did I ever finish back then? Like, two? Um... Two, and you did one of them twice, I think. Two, <laughs> I did one of them twice. Yeah, I remember that, too. And then after that, I fell into a critical depression. Wow. That's sad. I just remember that, like, back in the olden days when, like, pretty much everyone I was friends with back then like, did Let's Plays, did. and, like, none of them ever got finished. Yeah, I, I, that was the same way. I mean, now I've gotten three finished. Yeah, like... In relatively decent timing, should I mention. Yeah. I remember, like, one time, like, ages ago, I was talking to Darren, and... He... When I watch this, nobody here knows who Darren is, somehow. Um... No one knows who Darren is, yeah. No, I mean, whenever I get, yeah, like, like, you know... There's anyway, gonna be some random kid in the comments. Who the fuck's there? Yeah, I was talking to him because, like, by the time I uh, started being friends with him, he had already, like, gotten his first channel hacked and deleted. And, like, almost none of his Let's Plays ever got finished, aside from, like, a joke Let's Play of Elmo's Number Journey he did. <laughs> I remember that one. But, oh, man. And, like, I remember him saying at one point, like, because, like, I remember mentioning at some point that he does Ocarina of Time a lot, considering he doesn't like the game, and... Didn't he, like, do it under his... No, no, because I don't mm. think LOL you said the F word was actually his first channel, didn't he have one before Yeah. Like, like, Chaotic NES or some shit? Yeah. But, like, I remember, like... Where he was, like, a what? I was talking to him at some point, and... About his constant doing of Ocarina of Time, and he mentioned the... Like he mentioned, at one point he actually had a finished Let's Play, and that was like... I don't, I don't remember if he said it was like right after 
or right before, I mean, or sometime, like, way before his first channel got deleted, but I remember, like, hearing him say that and being shocked because, like... He really hates Ocarina of Time. Well, not just because of that, but just because, like, if you weren't one of the big names, chances are you started, like, 8 million Let's Plays and didn't finish them. I mean, yeah, I did that. What was it? I had, like, seven games running at one time, usually. Yeah. But I'd and only get, like, one episode like... in. And now, now I'm not gonna have any... And now it's totally different, because not even the big channels finish the Let's Plays they start. Yeah, it's usually just like, let's play, uh... Let's play Kingdom Hearts, but only for one episode. Yeah. And then they get bored of it. I mean, that's the thing is you should probably play a game you're probably going to remain consistently interested well, in. I mean, to be fair, a lot of Let's Plays nowadays aren't really, like, the same kind of stuff that you saw back in, like, 2010. Yeah. Like, nowadays, that's Let's true. Plays are basically just two dudes fucking around in a... Like, on some game that I heard, like, just came out, or the... On very rare occasions, something that they remember from, like, the retro days. And by that, I mean, like, um, uh, two years ago. Yeah, you don't get much dark-minded sense of Gryphon Lobsters anymore. Yeah. Those guys were my like, favorite. Like, I don't... Oh, you still got I don't want to sound like an old grandpa or something. Just going, you know, like, back in my day or whatever, because, like... I know the modern Actually, Let's Play Actually, we kinda has its, got... Like, I know modern Let's Play has its audience, and that's fine, it's just... You know, it is definitely different from the kinds that I used to watch and that I used to do back in, like, when I started I mean, out. I still kinda follow that very old style. I mean, you still kinda got Chugga Conroy for, like, the old style. Yeah, if you can tolerate his voice, I guess. Yeah. I can tolerate his voice. Yeah. He's definitely... Because I can't go back to, like, his older videos. Like, I don't think I can go back to pre-Pokemon ever with him and, like, enjoy his videos. But, like, after that, he's really... Much more informative, I guess. I don't know. Like, my issue with him was always just that he, like, tried way too hard to sound excited. Yeah. Like, at least he's not a PewDiePie and starts screaming about. You yeah. Know. Like at least he's not completely unbearable. It's just I don't know, not my thing, I guess. <laughs> yeah, like at least he plays uh, actual games he cares about and not what's popular. Uh, I'm trying to think of like old Let's Players that I liked back in the day that are still actually doing stuff, and the only ones I can think of are, like, Raukau and, uh, Big Dip on a Bus. Big Dip on a Bus, yeah, I find And even that. then, like, Big Dip is, like, just barely active, even though he has a Patreon going, like, most of his stuff recently has been streams, but he still does yeah. Let's Plays every now and then. Yeah, I guess. Uh, I mean, I watched a lot of Big Dip back in, uh... Yeah. What was it? Who was it who suggested him? I think it was, uh... Um... I think Dark Minded Sis started, like, hanging out with him, and it was just like... Probably. Yeah, this guy's pretty cool, yo. Where's that shield? When I started, like, watching him, like, a while ago, I think it was, I think Shay suggested it. Or not so much suggested, okay. but I think Shay just watched him and... I saw him in the, in the I don't remember because of that. My because exact. This was like back when YouTube like showed you all the activity of the people you were subscribed to. Um, yeah, I, I, I remember just that too. Like the videos just they like. Now it's everything, everyone. No, they don't even show you the things the people you watch upload. They just show you like you know random stuff and I don't get like, you know, my good... I mean, if you look at the subscription tab, it shows you the uploads sometimes. From time to time, they'll show you subscriptions, but even then, that's like not the default option anymore. Yeah. Because they want to show you but, people like, uh, uh, like PewDiePie and some racist guy from over. See, that's why you do like me and get the, uh, thing that 
Like, I have the Firefox add on that just gets rid of the suggested videos. Just because, like, I got tired of my subs not subs my recommendations oh, being, like, nothing. I but thought. Ben Shapiro owns SJW Cucks. Epic <laughs> style, or whatever. Epic style. Pretty much, and then it's just some guy being a dick. My favorite Ben Shapiro moment is when he, like. He's trying to argue that climate change isn't a big deal, and he says something along the lines of, let's say climate change actually is real and does happen. Don't you think people, like if water oh. rises, let's say 10 feet in the next year, don't you think people would just sell their homes and move? And it's like, are you fucking for real, dude? Yeah, I mean, we're already feeling the effects somewhat. I mean, it's Texas and it's like, have you seen the hurricanes the past few years? Well, like, the problem is sell your homes to who? Yeah, who's like, gonna wanna buy a home whenever it's gonna flood in like 20 days? Or some shit. Oh, hey, look at me. I'm gonna buy this house that's totally gonna be above water in like a week. Just Politics sell your house to the mermaids. I guess. Eh. I wish mermaids were real. Oh yeah, we have a boss now. Talking about the actual game. This is fun. Which I think also means I get a new uh, dungeon member. That's nice. If I win this fight anyway. Alright, I hit her. Oh, no. So I guess the strategy is literally just, like, duck out of the way, Hater. basically. Pretty much. What if I just put, like, East Origins music over this? That'd be... I could um, just put, like, Obero or something. Just put No Song Here Must Be a Mistake by the Johnstones over it. Hey, I know if the audio ends up getting cut, I'm just gonna just throw, like, every single... Oh, frickin' God damn song. it! Oh, no. God damn it, I was trying to... Alright, I can only bring one item back. Ah, uh, fuck. I was trying to, like, pause my game or some shit, but, you know. Alright, let's see, what's gonna cost the most? Shark fin plus one. Well, and then I lose all the day. I lose the whole day. Oh, that was awkward. Yeah, that was pretty awkward and useless. Well, let's see how much money I can make today. That would be really fitting if you played my suggestion. Oh no, it's that person from the last episode. I totally forgot about that because it's been like three weeks since I last recorded. And I don't actually usually watch my videos after watching the t if they came out okay. She doesn't understand how to use money. She's a thief. They're the worst kinds of people when you work in retail. They walk out and you can't do shit about it. They're jerk people. Let's see what do we got here. Heck yeah, I'm gonna pay you a hundred and forty dollars. And I'm probably gonna just talk about money now, but this is where we... Oh shoot, did I, did I? Okay, good, good, I got the hats. I'm gonna charge you nine hundred dollars. Because they're in one of those things where I can't like, you know, sell them for a lot or else people are gonna be like, Oh, can I get a discount? I'm trying to remember this one story you told me a while ago about some kid who walked into your store and did something stupid, but I can't remember what stupid Okay, did. so so here's the story. I, I think I know what story you're talking about. Um, there went, so I work at a 
not to disclose my location where I work at, but I work at a uh, you work as retail a store. No, I don't really work as a cashier. I don't work as a cashier most of the time, actually. I'm more of a tech for photos and stuff like that. But, uh... But, uh, one thing that happened... So the story I think you're thinking about is... It wasn't me this happened to. It was actually one of my managers. Um, so he... Had a, uh... So he, he got this one customer who basically walks in and goes... So, so we have this thing where basically you like send money illegally and stuff like that. It's stupid. It doesn't make sense. And basically, you get some of the worst people when doing it because you know, like, they get money from sources that are probably not technically legal. You have to have an ID to do it, though. And this guy didn't have an ID, and instead of being like, "Oh, hey, uh, okay, I'll go get my ID or something from home," he starts throwing a bitchy fit about it and tells my manager he's a horrible human being and stuff like 